have our quarter weight scales out. All right, so from 18 to 45. Okay, that inner core is all heavier than I thought. All right, next up we have our corner weight scales out. We have the actual leveling pads out, I should say. I'm gonna show you what these leveling pads are. We actually have to go through and set them up so that the car is sitting as level as possible because if you are corner weighting a car on an uneven surface, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. They sell a couple different things that you can use to level them out. One of the things that they offer is you can put a laser in the center and then you have four little pads that sit on top of these pads, which have a bubble scale on them. So you can actually center it up and make sure you're sitting level for back, left and right. And then it has a little, uh, basically like a height indicator. So you can make sure that your whole table is level up and down versus the laser. So, but what we're gonna do is do it the quick and dirty way, the way that we do it at the track. So the first thing that you would actually do is get all your leveling pads in place and put your actual scale pads inside, run your lines, and then you will bring these two screws off the ground because what you wanna do is level the surface to the actual scale itself. This is just a roll off and on so you can actually get the car to settle in and get the suspension kind of settled down. And But what you actually wanna put all your leveling on is the actual pad itself. So. What you can do is start by screwing these down, get them as close to the as you can, which looks about right. Bring these off the ground, which looks like they already are. So once we put the pad in there, it's gonna hold these things up and then we can level everything out. So well, I've had these for quite a while. They've uh, got a few miles on them, got a few laps on them, but still work very, very well because you only use them a couple times a year. And scaling the car is the same as, think about it like a table. When you go to a restaurant and you have a wobbly table, right? So the table is just doing this, and then you put a couple of sugar packs underneath the one leg or roll up a napkin or whatever, and you prop that up so that it's sitting level again. So that's what we're doing, but the problem is, since we have springs, it hides the aspect of the uneven table. So the spring will cushion in, Obviously all four wheels will touch the ground, and so people don't think that there is more weight on one corner than the other. So, just like if you had a wobbly table, if you were to put four solid springs, or shocks, or bars, whatever you want to call it, onto this car and set it down, one of those wheels is essentially going to be off the ground, because it's going to be uneven. So, what the scales do is show us where the uneven leg is, if you will, and we can adjust with the springs. Now I've been super curious to know what the car weighs. Yes, it is not fully complete, but we can at least get an idea on how close or far off we are. Ideally, we're way under because we still have a lot of weight to put into the car. Take this guy in, so these guys just kind of Feet right in there, plug it in, good to go. So what we're gonna do, get this thing squared up on our little line there, you gotta square it down on the wheel, and this will tell us how level we are. So, like I was saying, we pull these up, get these off the ground so we don't get a false reading. So now we're just sitting on this guy, we want that to be under flush so that it's not sticking into the tire. The right is down, put three degrees. We start with this. Flushed out on each one. We're gonna be really, really close. So now we... Okay, zero. Then we switch it this way. And to get this degree, looks like that thing needs to come up. Okay. And now we're going to double check. Still zero. Okay. So now that that scale pad is level, this way and this way, come in here and you bring these pads down just so they touch. This is not our 
final corner weight setup and I'm just trying to do like a quick setup. We don't have all of the components on the vehicle. We're not doing our final, final setup. I'm just gonna make sure this center screw is even on all four sides because this floor is fairly level and that will get us very, very close to what we're looking at. So I'm just looking at a, um, a starting point. I wanna see how this car is looking so far. Now that we got that done, since I'm by myself, we want to make sure the car does not roll off the scales. It has almost happened before. Not just with me, but with many people. What we're going to do, we're going to make a chalk. Grab this guy, a little one by one piece of aluminum. Go. So what this is gonna do is keep the car from wanting to roll off and ruin my night. So, Has almost happened before, but this is no problem. What I'm gonna do is gonna set that guy on that end, set that guy on that end. And yes, here's a quick question. Why don't we weld those on? Like we should uh, just throw a little weld on there. So it's probably gonna have Dylan do that for me because that makes sense. Why wouldn't we have that? The car is full of fuel, full of water, full of power steering, full of nitrous, transmission fluid, differential fluid, windshields missing, hoods missing, bumper, headlights. I'm going to say that's a solid 70 pounds. No problem of uh, parts that are missing. So we just want to see where we're at. Let's see. Man, we're already down one pound or up to one pound. Jeez. So, zero it out. All right. Yep. Yeah. Fully clear the lift. All right, let's get some initial guesses. How heavy do you think this thing's gonna be? Don't forget, I'm not in the car. So when you're talking about FD weight, it's always with the driver. And like I said, we're a solid, solid 70 to 80 pounds light right now uh, with missing components. So I'm gonna throw those roll pads in there, roll bar pads in there because uh, that's really gonna make the difference. Get my little stay on there so we don't roll off. Ugh. Let's see, 2618, pretty good. So 70 to 80 pounds, that's gonna be a sub 2700 pound car and that was the goal. So I'm into that. This is the one thing I'm not quite sure how much it weighs. Okay, oh nothing. Okay. All right, so from 18 to 45. Okay, that intercooler is a little heavier than I thought. So now I'm curious. Now we're just now we are gonna just start stacking stuff because that number is like so so far down. We shaved the one headlight down a little bit. So let's see, we're up to 26.59. All right, so yeah, feeling pretty good about our overall weight. It's looking pretty stellar actually because uh, if I stand on this thing just to get on my weight added to it. We are at 28, 28, looks like. Plus windshield, plus hood, plus some extra brackets, bumper, dash bar. We got a solid like 50 plus pounds going into it, at least like with our ballast is gonna put us right into the low 2900s, which is where we wanna be. We are gonna be at the low end of our tire to weight scale which is 2,900 is the absolute minimum. If you're under 2,900, we would be DQ'd. We wanna make sure that we're following the rules and we are always shooting for in the, the about 30 pounds to 40 pounds over the minimal weight because from the beginning, like we always scale our car and set up our car uh, ready to run, right? So it's full of fuel, full of nitrous, tires are new, all the pieces are on, all the taillights, bumpers, and everything else is on you lose almost 20 pounds in tires alone 
in the two runs. You lose 10 pounds of tire off of each wheel. It's insane. So the amount of rubber, when you're going from a full tread all the way down to the skin in two laps, you can lose 20 pounds just in rubber. Um, pound or two in the nitrous, we'll definitely make sure that you're hitting that 20. Um, fuel, you know, we'll burn about two and a half gallons of gas. What was that, about seven pounds? So it was uh, 15 pounds. So you got 35 pounds in consumables alone before you start knocking off bumpers, knocking off taillights, knocking off wings. So you have to be at least 35 pounds over the minimal if you're going to do your two runs and be over your minimal weight. Really, really pumped on it. Let's finish this thing up and see what it actually weighs. I can't see anything. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Have you ever seen an inline eight cylinder? 